<laughs> Whoa, hey! You're still here. Or you're back. Either way, hi. I'm Rick the Jerk. And I know what you're thinking. My water heater ain't working and this handyman come in and said I gotta get a whole new water heater. Or someone has suggested that you get your element replaced. And you wanna know why. You're in luck. Cause I'm here to tell you. I have two water heaters that I removed from customers' houses that were too far gone to save. So today, we're gonna bisect those and have a little look at what's inside so I can show you why guys like me are telling you you gotta get a new one or at least replace that element. If you guys saw the first video that launched Wednesday, then you know that I went on and on and on about the story I'm gonna tell. Well, I also planned on relaunching the YouTube on the 30th for reasons that we'll get into later. And at the same time, I wanna release videos every Friday. So I figured why not reward you guys for showing up and being awesome and give you two videos the first week. So first official video launched Wednesday. I'll put a link to that somewhere. I'm also going to guess that some of you have come from Mac's channel. If you don't know who Mac or Midwest Magic Cleaning is, I'll put a link uh, somewhere in the description or whatever. Some crap. I don't know. Go check out Mac's channel. So let's get into the video. Stupid. Hi, I'm Rick the Jerk. And I live on probably the third busiest street in town. So either you're going to be putting up with a lot of noise or this will probably end up being a damn voiceover or a wasted video anyway. Going inside, baby? Pause for parenting. Larry was supervising, uh, but decided she'd had enough, I guess. So, if you're with me today, either you got a handyman or a plumber, your funkle that makes you call him Leroy, even your step nibbling in law telling you that you need a new water heater, or you've got a water heater, or the lower element can. Water heater where the lower element keeps going out. But we're going to talk about why, or what the most likely culprit is. Especially if you live in an area like ours with really hard water. I have two electric water heaters behind me. Let's crack them open. Today's weapon of choice is the Milwaukee 2880-20 cordless 5 inch or 4 inch angle grinder. And I'll be using a new XC8 Red Lithium Forge battery. I'm not affiliated yet at the time of filming this, but uh, hey Milwaukee, why don't you send me something that says Mill Jerky on it? <laughs> Laugh with me. Laugh with me. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in here. Oh. Hello, ma'am. My goodness, you have such an attractive little garden here. Oops, I forgot. See, Roger and I were editing last night and realized that I'd be remiss if I didn't share something with you guys before going forward with this video. You see, I have a guilty pleasure. I found out about it completely by accident, like a year ago, when I saw a video of this guy running towards his buddies in the car and he went to pull out a bag of chips and take a bite. And before he even got his hand inside the bag of chips, he was already eating. When my lovely wife, Mrs. Jerk, found out about my fascination with this activity, she started sending me videos whenever she found them. Jerk fam, there is a whole world of people out there that pretend to eat food on video, especially this one chick. I don't remember her name. I don't know her channel. I'm sorry. But these people, and it's not even, it's not even good pretend eating. They'll like, they'll have in, in the, I don't understand it, but I can't look away. It's like, you ever see stuff where like, it makes you, you do the. 
and like five minutes goes by before you realize that your face is stuck in that, like in that position until you snap out of it. I could watch this stuff on loop for hours because it just, it, it mystifies and bewilders me. Not just the visual confusion of it all, but like I go down mental rabbit holes of like, who are these people making this content? Why are they making this content? Who are they making it for? Who are the people watching this? Because it's just like, it's always like overly made up and just strange looking people, which is fine. But like, there's a level of aesthetic that it's already somewhat captivating of just like, oh, that person looks that way. And then you add the Anyway, so as I was doing the autopsy on the first water heater, I got to the foam insulation inside, and as I was breaking it out, it made this very specific, like, and I'm like, oh, it's no secret I'm weird. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a Foley artist. If you don't know what a Foley artist is, these are the guys that make the sound effects for movies and TV shows and games and stuff that you hear in the final cuts. And all I can think as I'm popping and crunching the foam out of this water heater is like, oh, I could be a Foley artist. For that chick that's always pretending to eat food. And then maybe maybe more people would believe that she's eating. Anyway. If you'll just indulge me. I'm sorry for the next few seconds. I'm not sorry. I don't apologize. I don't care who hears me say it. It's fucking weird when people pretend to eat food and then film it and then upload it to the internet. And then other people talk about how yummy it looks when everyone that we all know. We know you didn't eat that. First, I want you to see where the lower element is. For comparison, this is an electrical component that heats your water. It's right here. Same level as our hole. Phrasing, mother. Sorry. But what's inside the hole? Phrasing. Shut up! Let's find out. A little delayed gratification. Before I go in and show you what's inside the water heater, I want to explain a little bit of the science and mechanics behind what's going on. So your water heater is a tank full of water. It has sensors in there that tell the thermostat whether the water is hot enough or not. Sounds like my ex-wife. Heyo! <laughs> and then you have two elements, an upper and a lower, that get your water hot. What happens is, so as the water heats up... Incorrect! So as your water cools down, it sends a message to the sensors and the thermostat. <laughs> but as the water heats up, it precipitates minerals like calcium and magnesium that eventually cover up your element. So then, even though it's heating, it's covered in all these mineral deposits and scale. So the sensors think that the element isn't heating because the water isn't as hot as it should be. So it sends more and more power through the element until eventually it shorts out. And that is why your hot water may seem like it's not getting hot anymore. I got salt in my shoes. That's why your hot water doesn't seem like it's as hot as it used to be, because it's not. Because it's only heating at half of its potential capacity. So the scale in these mineral deposits build up and build up and build up until you end up with something like this. Look at all that yummy nummy. Now I know this kind of looks like sawdust and usually it's much wetter than this because the water heater is full of water. But what you're looking at here is calcium, magnesium, and other minerals, uh, sediment that get through the water lines from the reservoirs, things like that. 
that, like I said, will precipitate from the hot water in the tank, it builds up on the sides of the tank, on your elements, uh, creating the scale that just piles and piles and piles until it starts causing your appliance to malfunction. Now, what can you do about this? Water softeners uh, and filter systems can help reduce some of the stuff, but really the best prevention is routine maintenance. Your water heater should have a little tap on the bottom where you can drain it. So what you want to do is kill the power or the gas to your water heater, shut your water off, and drain the tank. You can then, if you have a lot of buildup inside, you can take like a shop vac or some kind of vacuum or retrieval system to get into the little hole there where uh, the lower element is and suck some of the uh, scale and stuff out. If you stay on top of it, like every three to six months, you shouldn't have to suck anything out of the tank. Draining it should be adequate enough to dramatically prolong the life of your water heater. And that goes up to about here. I was pretty close, close with my guesstimate tapping on that I figured the top would be right about here, but it's right about here. Now these two water heaters are from separate counties, but I wonder what's in the other one. Let's find out. Mm -hmm. On this one, the element is about six inches. So let's cut in at that mark and see what we find. What about the situation so grand? Never touching his face or on his head. Yeah, maybe I'm just too damn wired. Put your by faith for what you can't see. Maybe this is what they say we can't believe. Live your whole life feeling tired. When you're special for life, right in the bottle. Oh, hey, Milwaukee. I didn't see you sitting there. If you made it this far, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've got big, big plans for what we wanna do with this channel. Ultimate goal is to get back to where I can fix people's houses or do things for people that are in need without charging them. So every view, every like, every subscription helps us get closer and closer to that goal. If you haven't seen the first video, I'll put the thing in the card at the end. So it'll appear in one of these places. There's also a playlist that I'm going to have all of the story videos in order. And there's a playlist with all the shorts in order. If you want to sit back and binge some of the content. I know if you watched the last video, uh, you know, I talked a lot about telling the story of what happened. You know, oh, where are we at? Almost 10 years ago now. That led me down the path to falling deep, deep, deep into my addiction. My multiple attempts at recovery. Finally finding long-term recovery and leading up to my relapse a couple years ago. We are going to get to all that. I have a series of videos on one big project we did that I'm going to release starting next week. I think what my plan is is to tell that story uh, through that video because it was my first big job back from the relapse. And it took a long time. There's a lot of mistakes and I think a lot of opportunities there in that video to talk about the struggles that I'm going through. That's the other aim uh, of this channel is to try to share a little bit of how I get through and how my family got through the things that we've dealt with just on a daily basis, day-to-day -day stuff. One thing that <laughs> this may come as a surprise to you, but I've been in therapy most of my life. One thing that at one point this year, I had three different therapists. I had a psych, 
a substance abuse counselor and my regular mental health counselor. One thing that all of their treatments had in common was they kept screaming at me that I need to give myself a break because I'm not supposed to be able to do most of the things that I do. I hold myself to this standard that is hard for a lot of people to achieve, especially me. And between the uh, ADHD, bipolar disorder, autistic spectrum disorder, and everything else I deal with, I shouldn't be able to do a lot of the things that I do even poorly. So... Another goal that I have with this channel is trying to show people like me that struggle with the same things that I struggle with that you, you can do this and not to beat yourself up so much over mistakes or small hurdles to get over when with the right resources and a little bit of hope and a lot of perseverance, we can do this. So please stick around, come back. Next week, we are going to post the first story video telling the whole of how things got to where they are working on a project for a nearby township office so stick around for that We're looking forward to bringing you guys more content don't forget to show some love to the different things in the description if i remember to put them there uh thanks for coming welcome to the jerk show <laughs> welcome to jerk tube and uh if you do struggle with any of the stuff i mentioned substance abuse disorder autistic spectrum disorder adhd bipolar disorder chronic pain all the above depression anxiety anything that's making your life harder I know every day can feel like a battle, but you made it this far today. So if nobody else will tell you, me and baby Larry will tell you, you doing a good job. Love you, bye. Good job, daddy. <laughs> Thank you, baby.